So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to lucid dream with a pine cone. So stick around because this is pretty much one of the most effective techniques for not only remembering your dreams, but also for having lucid dreams. So before we get into this, let me just show you a very close up of this lovely little pine cone I have here. Now this is, I just found this outside. You can find these pretty much anywhere. And uh, it's a beautiful thing, by the way, really beautiful. And you're probably wondering how can a pine cone let you lucid dream? And there's a few read, there's a few ways that you can do this. So firstly, this is not clickbait. This is actually a technique that I'm going to show you using a pine cone that you could find outside. And uh, here's how it works. The mind can be used like a computer. You can use the mind like a programmable computer. And there is actually a science to this. It's called neurolinguistic programming. And the idea is that we're going to use a technique today called anchoring. Now, anchoring is when you attach a belief or an expectation or a intention to an object. And in this case, there are various different forms of anchoring, by the way. In this video, in this particular technique, we're going to use one that uses a pine cone, but you can use pretty much any object that you want to. You know, it doesn't have to be a pine cone. It can be something else. It can be like a pyramid or something, but we're going to use a pine cone simply because they're beautiful. They utilize the Fibonacci sequence, which if I show you the end here, you can see very clearly that the Fibonacci sequence or the, uh, the God numbers uh, are very clear in this thing. So it, it sort of links into the idea of there being an intelligent creator, design, Fibonacci numbers, whatever. So the anchoring technique can be used like this. And I'll start by explaining how to use this to remember your dreams, and then I'll explain how to use it to lucid dream. So step one, you find an object, in this case a pine cone. Step two, you constantly tell yourself, every single time I look at this object, I will remember my dreams. And this then becomes the affirmation, the mantra, the belief, whatever you want to call it. And you repeat that to yourself several times every single day. You repeat that to yourself. You look at this object, you hold the object, and you tell yourself basically when you see this object, in this case a pine cone, I will remember my dreams in vivid detail. Now what this does, I know it sounds crazy, what this does is it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy you build up that belief within yourself and your subconscious mind then starts genuinely remembering your dreams when you see the object, in this case a pine cone. And you can use this for any object. It's actually one of the tips I give in my dream recall manual which explains how to remember more dreams in better detail. It's an anchoring technique. It's a very famous and well-known memory technique because to be honest with you it really does work. It really works fast as well. So how can you use a pine cone to lucid dream? Well, here's where it gets a bit more creative. You're going to be using the object to remember your dreams by using it as a dream anchor. So every time you see this object, you will remember your dreams in better detail and it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy and it becomes an anchor. So you can take that a step further. This eventually, after a few days, maybe even a few weeks, will become a dream sign and you will start to see this object. Whatever object you choose, you will start to see this more and more in your dreams. And then of course, when you see it during the waking life, when you actually use it as a dream recall anchor. But for the most part, you will see the object in your dreams again and again and again. And that's when it becomes a dream sign. Now a dream sign is something that constantly appears in your dreams. And if you, if you know what your dream signs are, you can use them as reality check triggers. Now, reality checks, as I'm sure you know, are very important for lucid dreaming. You need to be doing reality checks maybe 20 to 30 times a day, so it becomes a dream sign. It becomes a, some, something that happens and appears again and again in your dreams every night. And what you can do is you can tell yourself, when I see the pine cone, I will lucid dream, I will be lucid dreaming. And it becomes a dream sign, and that then triggers you to do a reality check. Now there are various other ways of triggering, your, triggering yourself to do a reality check. One of them is to use a totem. So I actually have a little clip that I'd like to play for you about the totems, which I'll show you now. I just wanted to say really quickly, a powerful way of remembering to do reality checks and also just making sure they show up in your dreams is to use a totem. So this is actually a beautifully designed talisman coin that says various things on it. It says, are you awake? Are you dreaming? So if you want to get this, you can go to howtolucid.com forward slash coin and you'll be able to get this beautiful lucid talisman. Okay, back with the video. And another one would be to use a dream sign, in this case, uh, a pine cone. Which I know sounds crazy, but if you actually try this, if you try and lucid dream with a pine cone, you, it will work. Because you're use, you're, you're not, it's not about the pine cone, by the way. The pine cone is useless. It's, it could be an object, it could be a candle, it could be anything. The technique works because you're using 
your mind to attach an expectation and an intention to an object. Very important because when you do that, you put the intention on, on a physical object that you can see. So it becomes more than just about your mind. The object, in this case, a pine cone, becomes the trigger which causes your mind to do the thing, in this case to remember your dreams or to become lucid. Now I have spoken briefly before about dream signs and how you can use them to lucid dream, but just for those of you who don't know about dream signs, I'm going to make another video about that very soon, so check out my channel and uh, make sure to subscribe to that so that you don't miss that video. If you've watched this far and you would like to learn more about lucid dreaming, please make sure to leave a comment down below right now letting me know what you think about this and do you think this is nonsense? Have you tried to lucid dream with a pine cone? I bet when you thought when you saw this thumbnail you probably thought this is going to be insane, this is going to be absolute nonsense. But hopefully you now understand that it's not about the pine cone in particular, it's more about the technique behind it, the way of using NLP anchoring to attach something to your mind. So you can use this to, to become a dream sign. Here's a few tips, okay? And by the way, it doesn't have to be a pine cone. You can use this with anything. But I'm gonna keep it as the pine cone just to sort of make it more fun and kind of random. So I hope you enjoy that idea. You can use this with any, with any object. What I would say is it's better to use an object that is small and easy to carry around with you. If you try this with, say, a chair, like, I don't know if you can see this chair here, but if you tried it with an office chair, that's difficult because you don't always carry a chair around with you. So that would really only work when you're in your bedroom. What happens if you go to a hotel and stay somewhere else? You need an object that's always going to be with you. So another way of doing this is you could also use a totem. Now I've already showed you a clip of the totem that I suggest you use, but you could, you could pick anything to be a small lucid dreaming totem. It could be a coin, it could be a, a dice, it could be a phone even. Or it could be a necklace or bracelet, it really could be anything. So in my case, I sometimes use this crystal, which is a red jasper, um, a red jasper shard crystal on a titanium necklace. But you could use anything. You really could use anything. For The only rule for this is whatever object you pick to be your anchor, you need to make sure that you actually always use it as the anchor. If you use it for anything else, or if you forget to use it one day, then it loses its power because the belief doesn't start to form in your brain and it becomes just a random object in your room. I mean, there are several objects in your room that you've probably never thought to use as a dream anchor. And if you, say if you pick the pine cone to be one, and then one day you forget to use it, then it becomes much less effective and it's basically a waste of time. So you need to, whatever object you pick, you need to constantly use it every single day and every time you do use it, so you look at the object and you think, I will remember my dreams every time I see this object. And then you look away, and then you look at the object and you try and remember your dreams. You need to really build that attachment and that connection to the object. And it's the same with a dream sign. You need to remind yourself, and I guess tell yourself every single day that you will lucid dream when you see this object, when you see your dream sign. So that's it for today guys, make sure to leave a comment and do check out my other videos. Make sure to also subscribe to the channel because I post weekly almost daily lucid dreaming videos. I also post every single day to social media on all platforms, including TikTok. You just need to search for How to Lucid or howtolucid.com and then look out for either my face or the little blue, the little uh, black, gray and white logo with the eye. I'm sure you're familiar with this on How to Lucid if you've watched me for this long and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description, you'll find links to various Lucid Dream products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.